Hello, welcome back to the Blogging Breakdown. Today I am back with another LTK creator tip. This is actually a viewer requested video, so thank you so much at Jessie Jane8910. She asks, can you please do a video on how to find and link products? I have been searching the internet for weeks and can't find any info on how to actually find the things you want to link. She goes on to mention that whenever you go on to the LTK creator, you go to like recent products or products like where you can search products to link. It's not very user friendly. The things that she's looking for does not come up. And I have also run into this issue. So today I'm going to be sharing how to link the products on your desktop and on your phone and also how you can program your phone to be able to link products without ever being on the LTK creator app. So if you want to learn these linking techniques, then just keep on watching. First things first, make sure that you download the LTK product link or what used to be called link ninja. I think a lot of people refer to it, it as link ninja. At last check, they're calling it the product link, the LTK product link. So get on your desktop and go to your Chrome browser. And that is where you're going to download the LTK product link. Once you are on your LTK creator profile on your desktop, just head over to tools and go all the way down where it says LTK product link. Whenever you click on that, it is going to, to take you to this page right here. So this is the LTK product link and it tells you to download. So this is basically, so it'll make it easier for you to link products whenever you see them online on your desktop or on your laptop. I went ahead and removed it from my download so that you can see how to actually add it to like your bookmarks to make it a lot easier for you to link products. So whenever you get on this page, just go ahead and say add to Chrome, add the extension, and once it does its thing, you will have your little extension right here. Now that you have the LTK product link on your Chrome as an extension, it'll be so much easier just to go to any retailer and link any products from there. So on desktop, what you can do is we'll open a new tab. Let's go to Nordstrom.com. And so let's go ahead and start looking around. We're going to go to the women's section. I'm just going to go to activewear. And so any product that you have on here, you can just click. If you click the Chrome extension on the, like the home page, all that's going to do is going to create an LTK link, a trackable link for that uh, retailer. So it's not a specific product. So whenever I'm on my blog, if I am recommending like best retailers to buy, you know, summer dresses, and I want them to, to go to Nordstrom.com and like they can browse or whatever, then I will basically create a link for um, the actual like page, if that makes sense. If I want to create a link for a specific product, then you will actually have to go to like the full details of that product. So in this case, we have this cloud have zip pullover and all you need to do once you're on the product page is click your little Chrome extension I'm going to need to obviously log in. Hopefully it doesn't show my password. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. Hold, please. Hopefully I, okay, good. I did remember my password. <laughs> okay, so then I have um, the, once you click that, it's, and you don't have to log in to your LTK um, <clears throat> every single time. It should just like whenever you have like, after you've like finished a, a session, sometimes it will do that. Or sometimes like, I think for me, it's like already just remembers me. Um, so I don't think that you're going to need to sign in every single time. Um, but once you sign in, you should be good. So then you have this, a lot of things that you can do on here. Sometimes some people will save this with not the actual name of the product. So you can always add a, change it if you want. You can select it yourself. In this case, I'm just going to leave it. What am I doing here? Okay, let's go back. I'm just going to leave it as is. So that's done. Um, also, sometimes I want the pictures to look a little bit different, especially if I'm creating like an LTK widget. So in this case, you can go in here and actually select a different picture for your saved product. 
in this case it's taking forever okay for some reason it's taking forever to pull up pictures but just know that you can change it you'll just have to here go here and you can pick an image and change the image if you want um, so then all you need to do from here is actually save it to your storefront so if i'm just wanting to grab a link to share with somebody which i don't recommend and i'll tell you why later on in this video but you can just go ahead and copy link and it's going to generate that link and in that case you can paste it on a notes app um, or if you just want to go straight into you know your blog and like put that link on there that's up to you what i like to do is i like to save it to my folders so in this case i'm just going to put Nordstrom, I think I have a Nordstrom one here, and I will just save it here. What that will do is it'll actually save it to my folders. So if I go to my folders over here, then you can go to all the saved ones, and here is the latest product that I saved. And then you can you can also add it to different folders if you want. So if you wanna do one that's like athleisure or activewear, you can do that as well. It's, it's really up to you how you set up your storefront. That's completely up to you. If you want to link products on your mobile phone, then you will just go to the LTK Creator app. Whenever you go on there, on the bottom, you, you will see the little link picture that says products. Once you click on there, you'll be able to pull up any website and link from there. So obviously you have some trending brands there. Um, if you want, you can also check out high commission brands if you want to see like which brands maybe there's like a product that you can find at multiple retailers and you want to see which one is going to give you more bang for your buck you can do that as well I also recommend linking two different retailers because that might also help your conversion rate so sometimes there'll be an item that is available at charlotte tilbury and sephora but you know somebody wants to get the points at sephora so they're more likely to buy from sephora than on Charlotte Tilbury or if there's anything that you can find on Amazon most people have like a going cart already on Amazon so it'd be easier for them to just put those items into their cart and hopefully they'll check out within your cookie window and you can get that commission so I do definitely recommend checking some of your favorite retailers and seeing which ones are going to give you a more higher commission rate again also sometimes these commission rates vary so it's always good to check back sometimes they're having sales and they will increase their commission rate so always stay on top of which brands are offering what types of commission so that you can get more money obviously on ltk so whenever you're on here you can go ahead and search for for the brand so let's go ahead and do like sephora and we'll click there also be be mindful that some of the retailers they have different countries as well so you make sure that you click on the one that says us and so then whenever i am on the website if i just want to let's see um oh this is the flawless i love this <laughs> pressed powder i actually just put it on whenever i was doing this video because i recorded recorded it earlier i was super shiny so i love it because it actually like it works um and it keeps me mad all day anyways <laughs> We're deviating from the topic. So whenever you're on here, if you look here at the bottom, there is that little link function again. You'll just click that and that is going to go ahead and pull up the information. You can write a review, which I highly recommend that you write reviews. People love to know like what your thoughts on it are, especially if for clothing items, if something is maybe it runs a little bit large, go ahead and let them know that. What that's going to do is obviously if you give them like true feedback on a product then they're more likely to purchase an item that is going to be um, better suited for them so if they didn't know it runs large they'll probably make, get something and it's not going to fit well and what are they going to do they're going to return it you're going to lose that commission so give them like honest feedback so that they make a more informed purchasing decision so that is another thing that you can do on here i'm not going to put anything on here um, and then once you have your product you can just go ahead and save and copy a link I also recommend if this is a product that you have and you use and that you're going to continuously be promoting you can also add it to your folder so in this case we're at Sephora let me do Sephora sale and save that that's going to add it to your favorites folders and then you can save and copy the link if you're going to be sharing it on social which again i don't recommend just linking one product to your socials i'll show you why it's better to link to an actual ltk post on your storefront but in this case you've saved it and you have it on 
your uh, favorites folder and then you are good to go and you can share that link whenever you need to. Another way to link products and personally I use this one a lot because sometimes I'm just browsing on my phone and I want to link something and instead of having to go into the LTK Creator app and going to search brands and going that route, I can just do it straight from my phone. It doesn't matter with the retailer, obviously the retailer has to be partnered with LTK in order for you to do this, not all re retailers are. Unfortunately, this is only available on iPhone, not on Android, so if you have Android, maybe by the time that you're watching this, maybe they have rolled something similar out to Android users, but as of right now, it's only compatible with iOS. So what I do is, let's say I'm just browsing on my phone, I'm on the Sephora site, and I pick a this lip balm, which is actually really great. I have this one. As long as you have the LTK extension on your Safari, then this will transfer to your phone. Obviously, you should have them synced. And if you look down, whenever you see this little book, you can go ahead and click that and you have all of your bookmarks there. And then you can see right here, it says LTK product link. You can just click on that and automatically link the product for you. So obviously you can click the little heart, save it to whatever folder you want. Um, if somebody's asking you for a link, you can just go ahead and copy it and send it. It's up to you. Um, but this is another really simple way for you to link products without having to go through the whole LTK creator app. Sometimes I'm just browsing and I will be on the site and I don't remember how I got there. So even though I know what the name of the brand is, I just, I don't know how I came to this specific product. So this feature really, really helps me link products on the go and it's like super fast and easy. Whenever you're sharing product links to your audience, it's always best to drive that audience back to your LTK storefront. The reason for this is that you can take advantage of the LTK autofollow feature. So when people land on your storefront, they are automatically added as your followers. Another reason you want to drive your audience to your LTK storefront is because that gives them a chance to actually take a look at all the other items or categories that you might be sharing there. So whether it's beauty or home, or maybe you share a lot of like kids stuff, chances are they might stumble upon another post that they like and buy from you. Now I know I've been talking a lot about creating your LTK posts and all of that. If you don't know how to even create a post, I know we just covered how to link, but if you don't know how to create an LTK post, I highly suggest you watch this video. I will be sharing my step-by-step -step tutorial on how I create an LTK post and share it out to the world. So anyways, I hope that this was helpful for you. If you found it useful, I'd highly suggest that you subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a great day and we'll chat soon. Bye.